somewhere in the great American Southwest desert. The longest day. The setting for this story is in northwest New Mexico, and southwest Colorado, and maybe parts of northeast Arizona, and according to satellite images, a little bit of Utah. Any similarity to persons dead and almost dead, or you and dead, is purely coincidental. Any living person offended by this presentation may contact our legal department. It seems like we have been driving for days. Shouldn't we have been back at Shirley's by now? Yes, but this doesn't look like Los Alamos to me. Learn how to drive, you idiot. Do you always have to comment on every car that passes us? Shirley always told me there would be days like this. You don't have any idea where we are, do you Mr. Itinerary? And how are we doing on gas? We are fine. The needle is barely touching the empty mark. Ah, arg. Well this rental car we got in Tucson doesn't get the mileage our Toyota gets at home. I'll stop at a gas station as soon as we get off this interstate. Well I need to stop for a bathroom anyway. You're always stopping. How can we get anywhere if we have to stop every 10 minutes? Every 10 minutes? The last time we stopped was back on the Navajo reservation, and I had to get out and go behind a cactus. Well wasn't that a nice piece of desert? I got a couple videos while I was waiting for you to come back. Oh, I hope I didn't make you wait too long, Mr. Video Man. I had to avoid the cactuses, and that snake got a nice view while I was doing it. Don't worry. I happen to know snakes have very poor eyesight. But their sense of smell is excellent. Well then he got a snout full from that experience. Probably rolled over and died. Or had to commit snake suicide. He probably crawled out onto the highway and waited for a truck to run him over. What was that for? You were hysterical. Yes, darn right I am hysterical, so if you don't stop at a gas station in the next five minutes, I might do something I won't regret. The next portion of this video has been deleted due to inappropriate language. We resume the story where the loving couple finally arrived at the gas station, somewhere in the Great American Desert, and now prepare to get back on the road. At last. Let's get going. We just wasted six minutes. Don't you have to use the bathroom? It has only been five hours. I will wait until we get there. Just as well. I think I prefer the cactus. Snakes and all. That bathroom was a dump. Where did you get that popcorn? Want some? Did you wash your hands? Got any wipes in here? Hmm. <laughs> Did I wash my hands? I can't remember. Do you remember how to drive this car? You know what time it is? We were supposed to be back at Shirley's for dinner. Unless this car is the Starship Enterprise, with warp drive, there is no way we are getting to Shirley's before dark. Well we did rent it from Enterprise Car Rentals. What was that for? Can't you see I'm driving? Just keeping things even. And nobody thinks your jokes are funny. Except you. Now step on it. Are you sure Shirley didn't mind us leaving Parker with her for the day? No, she was going to take her to the nature center, and you know how Parker likes animals and bugs. Look, up ahead. The sign says Los Alamos. 10 miles. Yes. Erm. I mean, I knew where we were all the time. You know, Shirley, I really appreciate you bringing me here. Well, Parker, I was happy to do it, and I am sure your grandparents enjoyed their little day trip. You are so lucky to have this nature center so close to home. <laughs> but it is getting late, and I think maybe we should head for home. Your grandparents are sure to be back from their adventure by now. 
and I promised your grandpa a real Mexican meal tonight. Enchiladas, refried beans, tacos with chilies and chicken, and I forget what else. Well I am sure it is great, but I only eat mac and cheese and jubble noodle soup. You need to expand your world. I promise you I will get you to try some Mexican food before you leave. Oh I like those tortilla chips they give you before your meal in Mexican restaurants. Does that count? Oh I remember. I got some real Mexican tequila. The kind with the worm in it. Ugh. A worm. But Poppy can't drink much alcohol. He is old and crabby, and his heart is bad, and Grammy doesn't drink. I think we better get going. That coyote is getting closer. And it will be getting dark soon. You better put your seatbelt on. Surely, this really isn't the type of car I imagined you would drive. And I can do without the pink color. You don't like pink? Sorry. No. My favorite color is orange. Well this car gets me where I want to go. And nobody ever steals a pink car. I can see the logic in that. Hang on. We'll be home in a jiffy. Or maybe in a jiffy and a half. I don't see their car anywhere, surely. You don't suppose they are still out there somewhere driving? I suppose they are just running late. We might as well scare up some dinner. Bill will be home later. So let me read your mind. You want mac and cheese. You are magic. How did you ever guess? So the sign says Vandelier National Monument, right? And you somehow think that means this way to Los Alamos? And then when I point out you made a wrong turn, you dress right into the ditch. No we are stuck, up to the axles with no way to go forward or backward. Well if you hadn't screamed right in my ear I might not have lost control. You lost control years ago, Buster. That's why I drive everywhere. But I said to myself, let him drive on the trip to his beloved southwest. And so here we are, stuck in some cave in the middle of nowhere. Living like prehistoric Indians. Instead of enjoying a nice warm meal with Shirley, Bill and Parker. But at least I got a fire going. Not so bad. And I have to admit I won't mind the night off from that attack cat. Yell. Yeah. Well you are supposed to be Mr. Cat Whisperer. Maybe you shouldn't whisper at it. Maybe the cat is hard of hearing. Why don't you closer to the fire, dear? Isn't it nice and warm? Yes. After you made me run to the car for the matches and I slipped in the mud and hit my arm. But isn't this cool? A chance to actually spend the night in a real prehistoric Indian cave. Ah, arg. Oh yes. I am so happy. And no cell phone signal either. No problem. I am sure surely heard you scream all the way in Los Alamos. Will Poppy and Grammy ever get to lose a lamas? Will Shirley ever get to cook her famous Mexican dinner? Will Parker ever eat anything besides mac and cheese? And will the producers ever come and get me out of this stinking desert? As head of the board of directors, I apologize if this production did not live up to your expectations. We do the best we can, but our best is not always good enough. If you wish a refund, please contact our legal staff. If you didn't pay anything to see this, consider yourself lucky. And now beat it. It is way past my bedtime. <laughs>